We're with Michael Frederick. Michael, you're a couple of months in to your AFL career. How's it all going? Yeah, it's um, going well so far. Um, obviously a big step up from Sandful footy um, back home in SA, but I'm um, really settling in and all the boys are really welcoming and I uh, felt like I'm at home, like no dramas or anything. So, yeah, it's going good. In the first couple of weeks, new draftees, they take it pretty easy at training. How have you progressed? How's it changed since then? Um, since then, mate, so we're probably two months into it. Now we're into full training, um, whereas the first couple of weeks we'll probably, I wouldn't say held back, but we just didn't do um, all the drills. We'd sit out for a couple and um, do some fartlek running um, and then join in the next drill. But um, whereas now we're into the swing of things, so it's, it's really good. Have you found that step up into full training? Um, it's good to get out there, but um, it's a little little bit tough. But um, yeah, yeah, it's going well so far, so it's all right. Yeah. Are you training mainly with the midfield group? Um, yes, midfield group. Uh, every now and then I'd be training um, in the forwards, so I do a bit of um, small forward craft, but mainly in the midfield group, so working on stoppage work and all that stuff, so it's going well. Any boys you're working most closely with? Um, I'm getting a bit uh, off the track, maybe James Aish, and I'm living with Mitch Croden as well, so I talk to him a fair bit at home, but um, on the track maybe um, Blake Akers, he's been really big for me, um, just with stoppage work and um, where to position myself for, um, on the wing, so yeah. You mentioned a few of the wingers there, they're all new to the club, does that make it easier or hard when everyone's trying to settle in? Um, I guess it's sort of easier going through the same thing with them them two, um, and also the other, um, the two Victorian boys, the draftees, um, they've never been here before getting drafted here, so um, I'm the same, so it's good to, I guess, experience that with, with them too, and um, the um, new boys from the other clubs, so yeah. On that draft class, you come in and there's like three top ten picks in with your class, is that is that kind of a boost that like gives you some guys to work with and, and set the standard? Yeah, um, it's good to sort of get around them. Um, I guess them being higher picks, they're probably maybe a bit advanced, but um, I guess working with them and um, I guess chilling with them and getting to know what they're like off the field um, is sort of a good um, way to go about it. And then on field as well, um, working with each other, um, just asking um, questions and all that, um, going through the same thing as well, so it's not bad. Um, it's good. Your mum was here last week for the family induction. How did you find that? Yeah, um, she was wrapped. Um, I went home in the four-day break and she wouldn't stop talking about it. Um, she got to see Opta Stadium and wouldn't stop talking about that. She just says, uh, I'm really lucky to be in the environment I am in. Um, so, yeah, she really loved it, really loved it. How was the break? Good chance to get home and see the family? Yeah, good chance to get home. Um, just really chilled with um, my brother and mum and then some friends from uh, that I went to school with as well, so um, didn't do too much, but yeah, it was good to see them before getting stuck into things. Martin's obviously on the Port Adelaide list. Is there any banter about who's going to make their debut, for, their debut first? Um, we do talk about if we were to debut in the same game, that'd be pretty cool, but... Um, he reckons he'll he'll get um, a few AFL trial games in the Mars series, but um, other than that, we don't talk too much about about footy.